I'm here in the pro shop and I'm going to take this opportunity to show you our new Rupad Extremes which we just got on the site today. So first thing I want to do is show you what a regular pad is made out of. Here's a regular pad material. This is our tan soft feel pad. This is a European felt, a European leather, and a good old American cardboard. Cardboard goes on the back, the felt goes in the middle, the leather wraps the whole thing up, and what you end up with is a pad that looks something like this. Some of the issues are this leather here, leather is naturally porous, and uh, whether that matters to the playing or not, I'm not sure, but leather is naturally porous. So what they do to fill the pores of the leather and to keep it watertight and airtight is they, after they make the leather, they spray it with like a paint. So this has a painted surface. So any finished leather pad has a painted surface. The problem is that the paint can be sticky. This is why a lot of pads are real sticky. Uh, so a long time ago, we came out with rue pads in white, black, and more recently chocolate. And the rue pads have an unfinished leather surface. That means it was never painted. That's one of the reasons that rue pads are real famous for not sticking. One thing that we tried to, or what we tried to solve with the extreme pads is we wanted to find a way to make this pad airtight, watertight, still get a great seal like the rue pad, still not be sticky like the rue pads are, still be quiet like the rue pads are, but then have be airtight and watertight. So we experimented with a lot of different surface paintings like a normal leather and, and what we ended up with that was uh, similar to a regular pad in feel and in stickiness. So what we did was what we've come to is the extreme pad. The extreme pad more or less came about working, uh, working on Theo Wani's mantra tenors and we had an opportunity to do the same horn over and over and test the results. We wanted to make that pad really airtight and that was Theo's interest too. So we set about trying to solve it and the, and the Rue Pad Extreme was born. This is a chocolate Rue Pad Extreme and you always know the extreme because they say extreme on the back. Here's why they're extreme. The Rue Pad Extreme, although it's a cooler felt, is made or a cooler cardboard is made with a regular cardboard back. Inside it's completely different. This is a synthetic felt. The synthetic felt is a hundred percent stable so when you measure this felt and then you wet it it stays the same thickness while it's wet. When you leave it out in the sun to dry it stays the same thickness out in the sun when it's dry. It just doesn't change. It doesn't care how wet or how dry its environment is. To keep it from getting dry, uh, wet, even though it's still stable, to keep it from getting wet, what we did was we covered the synthetic felt with a natural European leather. In fact, the same leather that we would put on our tan pads. And then we treat this leather so that it's air and water tight. So this is a treated leather. And again, remember that this, this leather could be sticky if it hit directly on the tone hole. So we put our cardboard back on the back we have our synthetic felt covered with our treated leather and then we wrap the entire pad in a skin and what we end up with is the Rue Pad Extreme. So inside here is the synthetic felt, the treated leather and then it's completely wrapped. We make a Rue Pad Extreme in chocolate in a standard white Rue Pad and a Saxe Gourmet. One of the issues when you're padding is the thickness of the pad. The, it's hard to tell here, but one pad, this, this pad here is a little bit thinner than this pad. This is a 4.0, this is a 4.5. The way you can make a pad thicker is you can increase the cardboard. You can put two cardboard on there. That'll make the pad thicker and then bend the felt and wrap it. But what happens is with the extra cardboard, it becomes very stiff. You can also put a thicker felt in there and that's the standard way that it's done in in this industry. But when you put a thicker felt in, the whole pad overall gets softer. As most of you know, a saxophone on the bottom stack uses a thicker pad and on the top stack it uses a thinner pad. So to get a consistent feel, 
in the top stack and the bottom pack while you're in stack while you're installing. We wanted to find a way to make the pad thicker without changing the feel. So what we did, I'm going to peel this one open and show you. What we did We keep the same cardboard, we keep the same leather and the same skived felt that we cut to the thickness that we, we need it. And then inside here, we put a layer of mesh that's flexible. It's not temperature sensitive, so it won't change when you heat it up. It, can't, it won't melt under regular temperatures. But what it does do is it makes the whole pad thicker and it leaves the pad nice and flexible. So the RuPad Extreme is the same, is the same, no matter what thickness it is, it has the same feel. It's airtight and it's watertight. So I have these two pads to kind of show you. This is some really cheap leather that we had, we, we had laying around. So we made two pads. We made a regular pad out of it with felt inside and we made an extreme pad. So you can kind of see the difference. Let me pull this closer. This is our leak tester. And when it seals up, it goes close to zero. Here's a standard pad. It's about a three. And here is the extreme. Standard pad, the extreme. The only difference between these two is that inside, this one has the extreme synthetic felt and leather cover. So you can see that the extreme pad, although the surface is not treated and is very porous, is completely airtight. There it is, the new RuPad Extreme from MusicMedic.com.